Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.
thing could be said about the story in the movie. The bit, yeah, the, yeah, you thought the characters were a big problem. Well, the story is a, is a big problem. It's your basic thing ha have to find the parent, parent story where, where it's kind of like a Mary Poppins in rip, rip off because it's very similar to that film. Um, the kid is having have a nanny, a nanny, baby, full of fun and imagination. She takes them on on magical adventures to, and tries to help them out. Well, well, the list goes on. Um. However, not all of it's bad. I will admit that the that the humour is pretty funny. There are some jokes that are really diff and really enjoyable well, and laugh out loud. Out, out and it, and they are very creative. But and even if this movie isn't great, there is one thing that is amazing out of it. And that is its animation. Yeah, the film, film has some really good and creative animation. Should to make it kill kill worth watching. It feels like it's out of a child's imagination. Whereas the first time that computer animation looks like stop motion, and it's really highly creative, especially with the hair of the Willoughby, is to to the designs of each character being, being unique, unique and different. Well, apart from the Willoughby's hair, of course, that stays the same on each Willoughby. And the backgrounds are also really nice too. It's like an animation hybrid but with computer animation and stop motion. It's really creative in my opinion, and they use so many much creative styles. So overall, it's not not one of the best Netflix animated films. I mean, it's not in the line of Klaus, but it's far better than than any of the other animated Netflix movies. The Wicked Bees is a fun film where where it's, it is it is actually pretty decent. While it's not in the lines of Klaus with a rap, every week story and. And characters that we don't focus on much, it more than wakes up up for it, and is much better than Netflix's other animated film. Um, with some brilliant voice acting, some fun humour, but a bit of heart here and there, and some phenomenal animation. My best, as for my recommendation. This is based off a children's book by the same name. If you like, like the book, then you'll probably enjoy this film. If not, oh, then, and I'd recommend this book for animation lovers so they can see the creative animation. It may not be one of, one of the best S movies from, from Netflix, but it's one of the most decent animated films. And that's why I'm going to give The Willoughby's a 6 out of 10. Not an amazing movie, but it's, but it's mediocre or worse, but definitely decent at best. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!